All right, Shalom, first and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Harachach Wadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Greetings, salutations, blessings unto his elect, Shalom, unto you. All right, um, uh, I put in there, which we've heard about this, IRS hiring 87,000 new agent uh, job description is what I googled, right? Of course, fact check came up a day ago, two days ago, on Vox, the usual suspects. Bloomberg, now this is funny. All right, look, fact check, the IRS is not hiring thousands of armed agents, job ads, you know. No? Well, why does Bloomberg say IRS is hiring new employees, not raising an army? Right? IRS special agent job ad misrepresented online. Confusion surrounding IRS adding 87,000 jobs, ongoing efforts to hire special agents willing to, let's see what that says, willing to use deadly force. Okay? IRS and allies downplay 87,000 person hiring binge four days ago okay IRS begins filing 87,000 new jobs with search for agents who carry firearms and willing to probably say use deadly force all right is IRS hiring 87,000 new agents to audit middle-class Americans mm-hmm Right? And you're going to all of that, right? 80 billion IRS. Okay, okay. So, yeah, right? Well, that's what that's talking about, right? Well, they say no, but then why do we get these, uh, let's see the news real quick. That was pretty much what we just read. Images. Look. And this one is from their website. All right, but we're gonna I'm gonna highlight that for you. Bear with me. Right on, you know, right here. All right. And now I'm gonna read these major duties points, right? Which was on the other one. It said adhere to the highest standards of conduct, especially in maintaining honesty and integrity. Work a minimum of fifty hours per week, which may include irregular hours. And be on call 24-7, including holidays and weekends. Maintain a level of fitness necessary to effectively respond to life-threatening situations on the job. All right. I need to know Taekwondo to be an agent. Wow. Carry a firearm and be willing to use deadly force if necessary. Be willing and able to participate in arrest, execution of search, Warrants and other dangerous assignments from the IRS. All right. They sound like they mean business. Right. But maybe that's just not, you know, what it is. So, um, so what's this? Okay. It's from days ago. Now, I'm not going to play this because it's probably on Bitchy for a reason. But when I remember to put the link in the description. All right. I was talking about, look here, that training video right there. I have a shorter version of it, the one on the right over there. Let me let me play that for you. Federal agent, reach. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Where's that hand up? Put your hands up and stop moving. What are you looking for? 
Mm-hmm. Identify yourself. Scenarios with Americans. Clearly training. <laughs> For conspiracy. So you see, I mean, that was clearly training. This video, like I said, I'm not going to play it because um, it's on BitChute for a reason. The other one was uh, on uh, on BitChute, but as well as on, um, seen it on YouTube. So uh, it should be fine. But, you know, looks almost like a spoof, but it's just untrained individuals trying to get trained. Okay. Trying to get trained. All right. But what does this have to do with the scriptures? Well, let me grab it. So I'll start here at Jeremiah 30, verse 5. It says, For thus saith the Lord Yahweh, We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now, and see whether a man do travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hand on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into pelters. This is describing events that take place on the day of the Lord. Well, these uprisings will be going on as well. They will be kicking in doors, okay, and, and, and snatching the people out, okay? This is all part of what's going on in that time. Yeah, Yahushua will be in the sky, and Leviathan, they'll have all types of different um, scenarios playing out, natural disasters, you know, invading one another, so on and so forth. But also, these, these federal agents got to kick the doors in, man, okay? They got to come kick the doors in on, on Jake, man. Okay, like they rounded up the prophets of ancient times, the disciples and the and the uh, the apostles of, of ancient times, they got to do it again. All right, and uh, it says, uh, and all faces are turned into paleness. Right, alas, for that day is great, so that there is none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. All right, well, we're trying to get saved out of it, man. We ain't got time to be. We got to go through it though. All right. I'll um, go to this one, 2nd Edge 16. I'll start at 71. And I'm trying to get straight to the point for the interest of time. It says, They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So the men of the Lord are going to get snatched up as well as some of you regular jakes out there. All right, it says, For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. All right, they're coming, man. No question about it. Uh, yeah, here we go. Isaiah 59 and 19. So they shall fear the name of the Lord for, excuse me, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood. Okay, the enemy's gonna come in like a flood, man. Okay, they're gonna go house to house, snatching up men that, that fear the Lord, men, women, and children that fear the Lord. No different than the time of. Of of the um um yeah matter of fact I'll branch into that real quick okay um anyway it says coming like like a flood and the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him okay and that's when the Lord's gonna fight for the elect man he ain't gonna fight for you two thirds and, and whoever else is caught in the, the heathen that's caught in the crossfire man okay. Or even that's, you know, they're going to be targeting everybody. Okay, but the men of the Lord that they snatch up, they're really going to be wanting to get us off the streets. All right. Um, now, where I was going to go was, uh, I thought about this one, the Maccabees. 
straight to the point of the Maccabees. It slips. <clears throat> Get to the point. It's like around here somewhere. Might be higher up. Yeah, let me see. Bear with me while I grab it. Okay, right here. First Maccabees, I'll start at 20, uh, 29. And after two years, uh, First Maccabees chapter 1, verse 29 says, And after two years fully expired, the king sent his chief collector of tribute unto the cities of Judah, who came unto Jerusalem with a great multitude, okay, and spake peaceably words unto them, but all was deceit, for when they had given them credence, he fell suddenly upon the city and smote it very sore and destroyed much people of Israel. No different, man. And when he had taken spoils of the city, he set it on fire and pulled down the houses and walls on every side. But the women and children took they captive and possessed the cattle. Okay. And that's what happened, man. It got to the point where Jake was... Uh, even uh, protecting themselves, lying, and, and, and forgiving up their, give, basically giving up their religion. Okay, it's going to say something like that, but I'm going to try to see if I can get to that point. Yeah, the laws. Mm hmm. Verse 58 it says, uh, Thus did they by their authority unto the Israelites every month to as many as were found in the cities. Okay, so they did that. They burned Bibles. They killed people. Some of the Jakes that, that followed the law. When you read into this, okay, putting to death people. All right, that's what they're going to be doing, man. Okay, let's go back into the, that list, a uh, short list I had. No, I didn't. Let me see. Um, let me see. I read that one already. We'll go right here. Yep, Matthew 10. I'll close with this. Matthew 10, uh, verse 17. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. Okay? And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, and uh, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. Okay? You're going to be brought before them. Before the councils, man. All right? So after answering in, in the next verse, Yahweh Shai tells us, hey, man, don't, don't worry about it. The Spirit is going to feed you. Okay? It says, um, but when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. Okay? And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. Okay? So this is what we're, we're coming into, man. This is what you sign up for. This is what your faith should be rooted in, man. Be uh, your belief and your works, okay, and your prayers and your fasting and everything you do should lead you to building yourself up for this, man. Building building yourself up through the spirit of your Yahweh Shai to withstand this evil day. All right? But... but <laughs> Yeah, but this has got to go down, man. This has got to go down. And you got to believe they they, they got to be disturbed and they got to try to do something against the men of the Lord because what? Because we're out there really calling the playbook, man. We're calling their whole playbook. Okay? Relentlessly calling their playbook. All right? Through the spirit and, and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. So, Lord willingness was edifying. Uh, giving all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Rashim Yahweh, Shai, Rashim, or Akakwadash, devil honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. To the next one, Shalom.